I am Anil Kumar and we will discuss transformation in this video. I am sorry I am reusing my paper, it's a good idea. I hope that is not distracting you. The question here is, graph of the function y equals to f of x is given. So this is the graph of the function y equals to f of x. State the domain and range for its transformed function g of x which is 1 plus 4 times f of 6 minus 2x. So that is the question. It's a very interesting question. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question. It's not an easy one. As you can see from the graph, if you start sketching the transformed function on this graph paper, you won't be able to do it since the scale doesn't match up, right? Now, so that means you have to find domain and range of the function from the given graph and then write down the domain and range of transformed function. So think about it and then answer the question. Here is my suggestion. First, let us find domain and range of f of x. So let's consider f of x and its domain should be how much? Domain is all numbers from minus 3 to this is 3 for us, right? So domain is equal to x belongs to real numbers where x is between minus 3 and plus 3, right? How about range? So range we can write as y belongs to all the numbers from minus 2 and to 2, right? So I've taken easy values to work with as always, right? Minus 2 and that's the y values, 2 plus 2. Now let's look into the transformation. G of x we are talking about is what? Is 1 plus, let me write 1 on the other side and let me start with 4 times f of and this also I'll rewrite taking minus 2 as a common factor. Minus 2x divides 6 by minus 2, you get minus 3, right? And then plus 1. Always rewrite transformed equation in standard way which you are used to looking at, right? So no more confusions. Now what does that mean? It means that the x coordinates will be divided by minus half and then you're going to add 3 to them. As far as the y coordinates are concerned, you are going to multiply them by 4 and add 1 to them, right? That happens with all the points and therefore the domain and range will get transformed, correct? So the formula for transformation should be that the x and y coordinate points are actually getting transformed. So what do we get here is x points become minus half of x, right? Minus half of this x point and then you have to add 3, right? That happens to the x points. For y, they get multiplied by 4, so you get 4y plus 1, right? So that is how y is change. Now surely, this change will affect both domain and range since both are changing, right? So now, what should be the domain and range of g of x? Let's first figure out the domain. So domain of g of x should be x values are from minus 3 to plus 3. So where will this minus 3 go? That is what we need to answer, right? So it becomes minus 3, half of minus 3 is plus 1.5, correct? So what really happens to minus 3 is that it becomes half of minus 3. So let me work out these details here. What happens to minus 3? Then we will write down our domain, right? So minus 3, let me write, let me make this as a column to work, right? Okay, so we are first trying to see what happens to minus 3. That is to say, we have minus 3 here. So what really happens to minus 3 is, it gets multiplied by minus half, that means minus half times minus 3, and then we have to add 3 to it, correct? So that is what happens to minus 3. So minus minus becomes plus and half of 3 is 1.5. So it is 1.5 
plus 3 and that is 4.5 is that okay so that is how this minus 3 changes right so I can write now domain is x belongs to real numbers so that minus 3 changes to 4.5 so I'll write this as 4.5 here do you see that that is how I get this transform point does it make sense to you I hope it does now remember minus when I multiply this inequality with minus what happens it changes right it should become greater than equal to that is a common mistake which some students might make so make a note of this when you multiply by a negative number inequalities change now we are left with x and so this also will change and now let's work out what happens to plus 3 okay so if I make it plus 3 that is to say I am doing minus half let me do it now just above it since I am running out of space right I always economize on paper now we have plus 3 here and plus 3 okay so that becomes minus 1.5 plus 3 correct so that is less than so it is 1.5 we have to take away so it is 1.5 does it make sense yes it does so so that plus 3 transforms to 1.5 so that becomes a new domain for our image function g of x do you see that also check the inequality x is greater than 1.5 and less than 4.5 makes sense correct if you would not have reversed these signs you would have got absurd answer right now I hope you can pause the video and find the range on your own right method is exactly same this time what we are going to do for range is we are going to multiply the values by 4 and then add 1 so that's simple 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 plus 1 is 9 oh sorry minus 8 plus 1 is minus 7 right so it is minus 7 but we are multiplying by a positive number so the inequality remains as it was next number is 2 2 times 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 and so we get our transformed range and that is from minus 7 to 9 so go through this video try to understand how we got it is basic use of transformations correct so that's kind of interesting I am Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about transformations and functions key things which you should remember here is first rewrite the transformed function as we did factor minus 2 remember all the points get transformed domain and range also gets transformed and you can apply what you have learned as how the image points transform correct use that technique and find your answer I hope that will help you now here is my question for you the question is find domain and range for relation g of minus x inverse x right g inverse x so the question is find domain and range for the relation g inverse x now why am I saying relation g inverse x because g inverse x may not be a function correct so the question for you here is find domain and range for g inverse x thank you